Hey, this is Sean Kelly, sales manager for Trimetrix. Today we have an RA360 audiometer and we're going to walk through the menu options. So we have a screen grab utility, so the, the audiometer itself is standalone, doesn't need a computer to operate, but we have a, a internal thing that lets you see what we see on the screen. So we're going to go to setup. So test settings first. So there's an enter button, so we hit enter. So you can turn different test frequencies on and off. You can select pulse or continuous tone, minimum test level, maximum, retries on error. So this is how many times can somebody have a hand switch error before it's going to pause the test. There's some retest criteria. So retest of adjacent frequency is over 50 dB. If there's a contralateral threshold change of over 40 dB. If any threshold is over 90. So you can turn these, these uh, retest criteria on and off. So we'll go back. So voice prompts. So the RA360 does voice prompts. So it'll instruct the person on how to take the test. And for basic correction, say somebody's holding the hand switch down too long. Maybe they're, maybe they're trying to time the test. They're guessing a little bit. So it'll come over the headset and instruct them in whatever language suits them. So the voice prompts themselves, you can turn them on or off. Start a test message, end of test message. You can turn these on or off. Default voice prompt language. So you can see English, Cambodian, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Vietnamese. So these are the, the languages that come in the audiometer. Here you can change the default. Audiometer itself. So you can set the, the, cut, the actual language. So what the settings, what the, the different menus in the audiometer will show up as. Uh, the backlight. So the, the screen brightness. Date time. Examiner, so you can set up different examiners, so everybody would get a number code. Daily check. So if we go into the daily check, so the RE360 will will <coughs> store internally the last daily bio and listening check run if you use the Oscar 360 with it. So with the Oscar 360, you can set this to require it. So what this means is if somebody comes in and forgets, it's not going to let the tester test people until they run those daily checks, those required checks. So you can turn this on or off. You can require a listening check. And the prompt for daily bio would mean as soon as you turn on the audiometer, if it hasn't been run, it's going to let you know you have to run this before you can do anything. Auto print daily bio report. So there's a printer kit that you could set this up to just automatically print as soon as you run the test. Room monitor, so the RA360 is the only audiometer at this price point on the market that will run monitoring the ambient noise without a PC requirement. So if we go down here, so you can pause the test if it gets over limit, turn that on or off, and then your different limits at the seven octave bands that it's checking. And then if you go to display noise level, so you can see this is the noise level going up and down as we're talking, the horizontal lines are the thresholds as they've been set, and then the vertical lines is the, the ambient levels at those different frequencies. So what this will do, if, it, if you're testing, let's say you want to test away from a booth, it gets too loud. When it's too loud, it'll pause the test, and then as soon as it gets quiet again, it'll resume the test. So the operator doesn't have to do that. The audiometer's program do that automatically. Monitor speaker, so this is uh, there's an internal microphone, so you'll be able to talk to the person in the booth. It's pretty much just an on-off. Print store, so this will let you automatically print a test result or store it internally to the database or kind of a mixture of the two. <coughs> the RA360 will hold 500 records internally. And then reset to defaults. So that's about it for the settings on the RA360 audiometer.